Alright, he's Omega here. So, uh, what I'm doing today is I'm installing a trailer wiring for my Prius finally. My Prius will be totally hooked up. So, last time I installed a, a Kurt hitch to my Prius, and I've already, I've already, it's already bottomed out on something. <laughs> I hit something here when I was going down a, a steep, kind of rampy ramp. Yeah, these kind of hang low. They hang about as, they hang lower than, uh, than this right here. I don't know why it's like that. I don't see why you can't just lop these ears off, but hey, whatever. It'll, I guess it kind of protects the car, but uh, it, it lowers my ground clearance in the back. That's what I don't like about hitches. They hit stuff, especially if you're like, if I was to back this up and do a steep driveway, this would probably hit the ground. And then you probably couldn't do it, so. That's one thing I don't like about um, these add-on hitches. It is, uh, it is pretty slick though, it stays up there. Um, if this was a, a half inch, uh, it would probably be, uh, I mean a two inch, it would be even worse. So, so what I got here is uh, some wiring. So uh, little did I know, I looked on a Prius, I looked up on Prius DIY and uh, they don't have a, there's actually a, a plug-in harness for this. And uh, yeah, so I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I, I think the plug-in harness was about 40 or 30 bucks. I'm pretty sure I didn't pay more than like 20 bucks for these, this wiring. It's a good quality wiring here. So, uh, so here we go. Um, it's made by Hopkins. Hopkins vehicle connector. It's a flat four connector, a little basic one, and it's a uh, number 48030. That's the model number. Endurance professional grade, three year warranty. Look at that. 48 inch wire length, easy pull grip for easier handling, includes terminal grease and dust cover, which is important. I like having these little dust covers here, because most of the time your, thing, your Prius is not going to be hooked up to a trailer. And uh, protective sleeving insulates from weather, wear and weather. Alright, so it's, I mean, it's not that hard. It's only a couple of connectors. It, it, in fact, the, the plug-in wiring one looks a little more, uh, a little more, uh, Looks like there's more work involved, but uh, we'll we'll find out. Uh, we have to actually tap into the wire harness is the problem. It's, uh, I'm so lazy to do wiring, but uh, I have my uh, I have my kit here today, my little electronics kit. So hopefully that'll get. get me I brought the big soldering iron. I didn't even want to solder. I wanted to use the taps and stuff. Ah, I do. I have a couple of them, so I might just wind up using these. That way I can take it out. <laughs> or or maybe I might just solder it. I don't know. Stop being lazy. I'm in the garage right now. I have easy access to power, so I think uh, I think maybe I'll just solder it. If you're, if you're not going to use the wiring, just suck it back up into the car, you know? So it comes with some grease. Good. Excellent. I don't think I'm going to use it. I don't really use the grease, but uh, probably the only thing you could put... Well, I don't know. I guess you could put something in there. But, uh, but that's, uh, why would we need grease if we have a cover here, right? <laughs> Maybe what moisture still gets in there. So the first thing uh, I'm pretty sure you want to do is, uh, you want to take everything out of your trunk. Everything out of your trunk. I got this little mat here. And another mat on top of another mat. I have a like mat after mat, so make sure my inside stays nice and clean. It's out of there. And you want to take your cover thingy out here. Probably clean your interior while you're at it. Just gotta get that out like that. Okay, and uh, and then uh, oh, oh, look at this! Look at all this uh, stuff in here. You gotta take out this little tray here. Just lift it right out. It comes right out. Let's put that somewhere. And there you go. This is what we're working with. Uh, so supposedly there's a there's a grommet under the spare tire where you can uh, run the wire through. Oh yeah, see there's one right here. But that seems that seems like it's too far. Let's actually take the spare out and see. Maybe I, this might be a good opportunity to check your tire pressure on your spare. How? When was the last time you did that? Right? It looks. I don't know. Maybe kind of low. I would inflate it to whatever the maximum is on it, or whatever. Take your little jack holder out here. Take your spare tire out. Oh, I wish they would. Oh, they never, I never knew the the Prius spare was a 
Looks like it might have been used. Oh, no, no. It's brand new. I don't even knew this previous spare was uh, cream colored or kind of like a mustard mustard yellow. Aha! That's what they're talking about. It's this right here. So I can probably kind of clean up all this mess here. I don't know why it's like that. And you can see the battery. There's the master uh, the master safety plug there. Probably don't want to. You don't want to touch. Don't touch any of this stuff here. It's uh, that's the, that's your uh, hybrid battery. <laughs> don't touch it unless you have to. Uh, and then you're probably gonna want to take this out. You're gonna want to take all these little panels off. You can take a good amount of the interior apart. Take that out, and then you want to take this out. So you can get access to that the wiring and stuff in there. I'd imagine that's the only the stuff we're gonna mess with right now. It's just this side, since the battery's right here and, and the ground is right here. Um, yeah, and they say they're saying you could you take this out and then you might lose your the memory. So I would say uh, why don't we just connect it to this one right here, right next to it, or this one right down here, or this one right here. There's uh, plenty of places you can connect the ground here. So pick one. <laughs> pick one so you don't have to take the battery out. Hmm. Okay, okay. And supposedly uh, this battery is... Oh yeah, I can actually test my battery out now. I have a battery analyzer. I heard this battery is like 10 years old. I heard it's uh, it's like dying. I took it in for service, so I want to see for myself. Anyway, so yeah. So this is what you have to get to. to uh, this is what your car should look like when you're ready to go uh, install the wiring. Alright, anyway, so yeah, there's this uh, plug under your spare tire. You just take it out, no problem. And um, then you can fish this in there. Uh, but the problem is, the problem, let me just kind of get it in there so it stays in there. The problem is the wiring is not long enough to reach. Yeah, the wiring won't be long enough to reach. So you can see here. It's from like here. It'll be around here. It's where it'll be. So it pretty much it'll it'll make it here and like outside a little bit, but it won't make it to the hitch. The hitch is another good like two feet or something out here. It's got to be around here when you, when you're towing stuff. So um, what I'd suggest what I, what I'm gonna do is I see this wire running here from here and that goes up to here. I'm sure this wire, this wiring here is the signal wire right here. So I just have to figure out what wires are what. And there's also a ground here already too, so I can I can utilize this ground here. So um, yeah, we're just gonna have to figure it out. Um, okay, time to get the test light out. All right, so <laughs> yeah, where I'm gonna tap the wires are right here, because from here, it'll definitely be long enough. Ugh, this thing is so annoying to get in there. There we go. And from here, if I go, oh, the only problem is the the positive terminal is all the way here. Positive. I don't think you need a positive though. I'm having a, I feel like I've done this before. Anyway. <laughs> and then, yeah, so this is how far it goes. So quite a bit more if you needed it. Um, but hopefully it'll, I'll... I really only want to get it like around here or something, or you know, just stick it on top of here, you know. Actually, wedges quite well underneath of this, <laughs> just like that. So, so yeah, this is definitely where I want it to be. I can get the wires all the way up here, and I have, I'll have extra play. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. I may have to do some modification to the harness, but uh, uh, I don't have to extend it. This is what I don't want to do. So I, I, you're just making it unnecessarily long. So, what I have to do is figure out what these wires do. So we'll get the test light out and what I'll go run some here stuff down. Is that the running light? Running light's on right now, as you can see. Kinda, kinda, sorta. Is, uh, is the brown wire here. Let's see, the test light lights up. So I gotta go find the brown wire. I think it's this one right here. I thought it was green because the wire is green for the running light here, but it's not. Put that back in before it burns a hole in the carpet. So it's 
it's actually a brown wire, and I see two brown wires. I guess it doesn't matter as long as one of them works, right? Yeah, I see two brown wires here, so I'm gonna go kind of poke a little hole in it. So I, go, I went ahead and found it. It's this brown one right here. Right here. Let's see the test light runs. So uh, it's not the brown. It's not that green one. It's not that brown one over there. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I'm not really. Well, I don't know why they made two brown wires. Stupid. But anyway, when I when I checked that brown wire, I heard some kind of relay clicking over there. So I'm assuming that's not it. Whatever it is, it's some kind of re it's connected to some kind of relay over there. So um, yeah, you gotta be careful. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it looks like it's the brown wire that's not right next to the green wire. Uh, yeah, so there's two brown wires. There's one that's right next to the green wire uh, on my Prius. I don't know about other Priuses. Uh, at any rate, um, it's best if you do this with a test light if you're going to do it the way I'm doing it. So it's this brown one right here. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and put like some kind of some kind of electrical tape on that other stuff there so it doesn't short out anything. So I found the right my running light. I have to go find the signals. Okay, so well, I should have put two and two together. Um, oh yeah, so uh, so like all the wiring, the wiring here is the same as the wiring on the car. Fortunately, it's uh, Toyota used kind of like the standard uh, the wiring. But uh, so here it says the yellow um, the yellow wire is the left turn signal, and so sure enough, when I check the yellow wire right here. Yellow, yellow wire. Oh, <laughs> it would help if the ground is hooked up. Yeah. So when I check the yellow wire here, it blinks. So what I want to do is I want to look for a yellow wire in here, and it looks like we've only got one. So pretty sure that's it right there. And then so I'm assuming our our um, there's a green wire. That's the right turn signal. That may be the one I I checked earlier. Let's check, try that out. No, it's not. So, what the hell? Alright, we're just gonna have to keep on digging. It's not a green. Green. Yeah, green is the right. Oh, because of the green. Oh, funny. Funny. Yeah, you gotta have to. You gotta make sure the right turn signal's on first, right? So, just put the hazards on. Anyway, I think that's our. I think that is our wire. I unsuspect. I'd found it already. Okay, there we go. So, there's our. Our uh, green wire. So it's this one, and this one, and our, our yellow one right here. I don't, I don't, that other brown one, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Let's not mess with it. So here we go. I found all the wires. I think I still have to pierce that uh, that uh, yellow one and find out if uh, if that's the right one. But uh, yeah. So when in doubt, to Toyota used the 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 basic uh, the basic wiring for. Uh, for like all trailers, so white is brown, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yellow is the left turn signal, green is the right turn signal, and a bright brown is the, the running light. So those are the ones we want. Found them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and verify that. It's blinking right now. Blinking, blinking, blinking. Don't think I have a connection. Oh, crikey's not getting anything. Hold on. Boy, I, boy, I must have had a, uh, a bowl of uh, stupid today. Uh, I had the right turn signal. I'm trying to check the left turn signal again. I did it again. Anyway, doesn't look like that's it. What the hell, yo? No dice. So that's kind of dumb. I don't know why I can't find it. Um, it's I don't think it's any one of these wires. It looks like um, this wire goes into this harness here, and it starts going down here. But also there's some wires that continue up into here, and that's no good. So I'm assuming um, uh, the other wires for this, for the the wires on the left side, just go this way. <laughs> They're probably in the car somehow routed this way, so I don't want that. Uh, luckily, the right ones are here. 
So uh, I'm gonna go. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, I'm gonna go extend this yellow wire so it'll fit up to here. That's what I'm gonna do. So what I have to do, I can't find it. This yellow wire isn't it. So bummer. All right. So and I don't want to keep on. I'm gonna be here all day probing wires. So why didn't I buy that plug and play kit? All right. Anyway, here it goes. Ah, it's taking a lot longer than I thought. Okay. So I went in a. Uh, I have to kind of grind this open with the Dremel a little bit so it'll fit in here. So this is the ground. I'll go ahead and install that right now. Yeah, this is going to be hard with one hand, so I'm just going to go turn the camera off. Oh, there we go. Actually, not too bad, but i got to make sure I hold it, so... installed so now I got this yellow wire I run all the way here already I'm gonna go ahead and uh, solder that side on all right so I've gone ahead and soldered it soldered in there I haven't insulated yet but I'm going to insulate it right now so here's um, some shrink tubing this is a straight just wire wire to wire it's not a tap so I can go use these uh, shrink tubing to make it look nice and pretty. About there, it's a little bit too big, but we'll see if it get it'll shrink enough. I got my little heat dealy here. Like it might be a little small on one side. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. I don't think anything's gonna touch that. All right. It's one side, and I'm just gonna have to put the um, put some electrical tape on that guy, and the left turn signal is done, and the ground are done. So two more wires to go. Okay, I got a. Uh, I got three of the wires installed, the right one and the uh, and the left turn signal. So I'm gonna go test them out real quick. This is the ground right here. So one of these there we go. So that's the right turn signal, right? Yeah. So there we go, it works. Right turn signal, worky. I don't know why I got a fast turn signal, but uh, it works. I might have blown the bulb or something. Oh, I know why. <laughs> it's not even hooked up. That's why. Yeah, I, the wire is not hooked up, but it works. All right, well, there it is. Now I did, it's in there. You can't even tell it's there, right? But uh, here it is. Uh, apparently, you can wedge this between the bumper, this little trim here, and the hitch right here. So I kind of just wedged it in there. When I need it, I'm just going to pull it out like so comes right out it's got some extra play in it a little bit not too much but uh, I've made it so it'll give have that much play you know and then I could I can always like hook it up to there if I want to but I think I'm just gonna keep it up here like where I had it before it's very nice and out of the way in here I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. And then, um, and then what I'm gonna do is uh, all this. There's just all this extra wire here. Yeah, a lot of extra wire, but uh, that's good. It's good to have extra wire. It's better than ha having not enough wire, right? But uh, yeah. So there's all the wiring. It's kind of spaghetti, but it's okay. It's inside the where the spare tire is. And then I'll shoot another video when I get it all. Uh, buttoned up. He's in the out. Well, there's the end result. Can't really tell it's there. We'll 
So there's the connector. And I just tied it right there. That was a little bit of play, and uh, there's some slack there. This is okay. Um, hmm. You know what? I think it would be better if I kind of tuck that up in the hair a little bit. Maybe. Maybe, sort of, kind of. Uh, that's what I really want, huh? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll play with it. But yeah, there it is. Can't even tell, uh, can't even tell I did anything to it. Not bad. Cool. I'm kind of not happy with how the Kurt Hitch, uh, hangs a little low on this. I've never seen this. Why do they have this on the sides? But they hang so low, you know? I don't like it. Maybe it's to reinforce it. Alright, here's my gout.